Hello, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I have the privilege of opening the graduation ceremony uh, of the graduating class of June 2018 of Glion Institute of Higher Education in Switzerland and in London. On behalf of Ms. Georgette Davy, Managing Director of Glion Institute of Higher Education, our faculty members, uh, colleagues, and we are delighted to welcome honored dignitaries, uh, parents, family, and friends, guests, sponsors, and of course, you graduates. Mesdames, Mesdemoiselles et Messieurs, bonjour. Madame Barbara Miller, doyenne académique, a le privilège d'ouvrir la cérémonie de remise des diplômes des classes de juin 2018 de Lyon Institut de Hautes Études en Suisse et à Londres. Au nom de Madame Georgette Davy, directrice générale de Lyon Institut de Hautes Études, ainsi que des professeurs et collaborateurs de GIHE, nous souhaitons la plus cordiale des bienvenues aux personnalités officielles, aux parents, familles et amis, aux invités et sponsors, et bien entendu à vous, chers diplômés. I have the pleasure of introducing Ms. Georgette Davy, Managing Director at Lyon Institute of Higher Education, who wishes to address students and their families to start this graduation ceremony. Distinguished guests, proud families, supporters, sponsors, Gillian team members, and of course, our graduates. A warm welcome to the Gillian graduation of summer 2018. We are here today for a celebration, a celebration of outstanding success of our graduates. Your success has been a journey, one in which you've developed skills, knowledge, attitudes, and mindset that are required of tomorrow's hospitality industry leaders. Your time here in Gillion, as we are sure, has passed very quickly. From those first days on the Gillion and London campuses, finding the library, learning how to make an espresso, and what time is breakfast? to the more recent weeks, which have been full of project submissions, presentations, exams, and dissertations. In this time, you've developed a global mindset, learning from your faculty and peers in the classroom, honing your leadership skills, and traveling the world on your internships. And it's a mindset that will support you throughout your chosen career, and provide you with the life skills necessary to succeed. As Vincent Lombardi, the legendary Green Bay Packers coach said, leaders aren't born, leaders are made. And they're made just like anything else, through hard work. And whilst your hard work here at Guillaume may have come to an end, the journey into your chosen career starts now. Take those skills and determination to succeed that you've developed during your studies here in Guillaume. Take them on that journey and make a difference to the future. But let's just take a moment and consider how the world of hospitality has developed in the last 10 years. Changing consumer behaviors, changes in ownership and asset management, operations, and also technology. There's never been a more exciting time to enter this industry. And it's your turn now to lead in building that hospitality luxury business of the future. But what kind of industry and what kind of world will you help to build? What values will you respect and what will drive your life and the lives of others. 10 years from now, when we're on this stage, and we have a class in front of us, the class of 2028, here, prepared to graduate, what will you have done to help them from your future leadership positions? Peter Drucker, 
the grand old master of business leadership, said that leaders who work most effectively never say I. And that's not because they train themselves not to say I. They don't think I. They think we and they think team. They understand their job is to make the team function. They accept responsibility and don't sidestep it. But we is what they credit. As the cliche goes, there's no I in team. So graduates of 2018, we have achieved the success that we celebrate today. You, your parents, your faculty, our Gillian teams, sponsors and family. And tomorrow, you'll be taking those first steps into the future with your new industry teams. So graduates of summer 2018, we wish you every success with your future and look forward to your visits here on campus. But most of all, we love to say, learning is not a destination, it's a journey. So from all of us here at Lyon, we wish you bon voyage. Thank you, Ms. Davy, for those uh, warm words of welcome. Dear graduating class, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce this year's graduation speaker, David Cochran, Chief Executive Hospitality Industry Trust, Scotland. After commencing his career at the Commonwealth Games in Edinburgh, David started working for North Fall Capital Hotels. He then joined Garda Merchant, now Sodexo, as a chef manager, progressing to district training coordinator. This training experience led him into the hotel and catering training company, working with youth training and unemployment projects. He also undertook a Leonardo da Vinci European project to help implement vocational qualifications in Scottish prisons. David has been the training manager at the internationally renowned Lenny Girls Hotel. He developed his passion for people development, and this led him naturally to take on the role of Chief, Chief Executive Officer of Hospitality Industry Trust, Scotland. In 2004, David was awarded the Industry Award for Services to the Hospitality Industry in Scotland. Since working with HIT Scotland, the Trust has awarded over 2,000 scholarships for the emerging talent of the industry and 13,000 student bursaries. He took part in the successful Kilimanjaro Challenge in 2011, the Grand Paradiso Challenge in Italy in 2014, and lately the Great Wall of China Challenge in 2017. He was awarded an honorary degree in international hospitality management from this very institute, Lyon, and he was honored with the Education and Training KT UK Award the same year. He is a fellow of the Institute of Hospitality and Stratlight Business School, and we are delighted to have David back with us today. Thank you very much, Kevin, for those warm words of introduction. Um, Kevin was saying earlier, I managed to get as many long Scottish words in my introduction as was possible, but I think you cope with that admirably, Kevin. Um, and also, I must say thank you very much to Glion for not only inviting me back again, which I'm delighted to be here, but also you've arranged it in a casino, you've arranged a music festival, all we need is a beer tent and I feel absolutely at home from Scotland. So thank you, thank you Glion. But good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, um, and bonjour les diplômés. I thought I might do my presentation in Scottish and then French, so it might be about two hours if you've got time. <laughs> but when I was last here, um, it was actually eight years ago uh, in Glion, I was introduced as the hitman from Scotland. Um, this time I thought I should come in disguise so I wouldn't stand out too much. Uh, wearing a kilt, the national dress of Scotland, I've been given très jolie from people in the street, I've been given funny looks, 
I've been given, oh my God, what's he wearing? Uh, to that guy is wearing a skirt. Um, but certainly on one of the hottest days of the year, it's great to be wearing probably all the Scottish clothes I wear and indeed a gown as well. So if you're hot in the audience, it's very hot up here for me. Um, but I'm not a hitman, by the way. Um, I work for a wonderful Scottish organisation, which is called Hit Scotland, the Hospitality Industry Trust for Scotland. And uh, we empower individuals to have inspirational development in various locations, as Kevin said, through scholarships around the world. And we think that these inspirational opportunities will help people get on within the industry. And being in and around Glion for quite a while now, I think the aims of Glion and the aims of Hit Scotland are actually very similar. Graduation ceremonies, though, are always very special days. It's an honour to be here and celebrate success with so many graduates in front of me. And I was sent a list uh, of all the different uh, bachelor and master's programmes, and it certainly is very, very impressive as far as the amount of awards and programmes that are on offer here in Switzerland. Um, in this time of the World Cup, to see 57 different nationalities represented here demonstrates what an international business which we, we are all in. I hope, unlike the World Cup, that Scotland is represented in the UK category somewhere. I believe Elizabeth Bannantyne reed is here, so I look forward to meeting Elizabeth uh, at some stage. But um, at least, unlike Scotland, maybe we get more Scottish people in the, in, the, in the graduation ceremony next year. But it's also great that Switzerland are doing so well as well. So, do we have any football fans in today? Yeah, a few. Okay, that's right. Quite quiet. <laughs> but. When it gets to the stage of the celebration, um, I think, as we can see in the room, I was sitting at the front, and when I suddenly turned around and saw how many people were in the back, it's fantastic to see how many people are supporting the graduates. And firstly, I'd like to acknowledge the time, commitment, finance, and encouragement that all the families have given to allow their young men and women uh, the opportunity to learn at the Glion Institute of Higher Education. Um, I'm sure the families and parents in the, in the room will be delighted with the success of your children um, being here today. And of course, the end of the tuition fees are in sight too. Um, so could I maybe ask the graduates, could you just show your appreciation to the support group behind you? And, uh... Thank you. Great. That was a great applause. I hope the cameraman actually got that. I might put that on the Hit Scotland YouTube thing and uh, pretend it was me. Um, but also, I recognise that the people, the faculty and the support team standing and sitting behind me, um, who have also worked tirelessly to provide you with hospitality and intellectually challenging programmes over the last few years, as George Ed has just said, to prepare you for a successful career in the business of international hospitality. Um, the pastoral care, the administration, everything that happens behind the scenes, both front of house and back of house, to make things run smoothly. So, should we say thank you to Team Glion as well? I think having had dinner in the Bellevue restaurant last night, which was absolutely superb, shows what an industry education collaboration really does truly go on here. But down to business. Um, many of you, as just been said, are going to embark on one of the most exciting stages of your life into one of the most exciting industries in the world. The years of study, international work placements and knowledge will all be put to the test, and you'll find your feet across the spectrum of opportunities that are available within our industry. Whichever sector you choose to work within, um, there will be many, many exciting challenges and that will require your current learning and expertise to be put into practice. We work in an industry that, as you know, is growing at a frightening speed. The old ways of doing business are going by the wayside. Technology, sustainability, information and transparency will be at the forefront of everything that you do. Global issues involve new markets, migration of workforces, travel disruptors, weather patterns, minimum wages, cyber challenges, fake news. These can all play a part in where our industry is going in the future. And the hospitality industry differs from many other sectors, I always think. For example, as a good example of last night at the Bellevue, the service and delivery are simultaneous. When you deliver that great plate of food, the product, the service, the smile, the attitude, the enthusiasm, the feelings, the emotion, the experience, all takes place simultaneously. And so you can't put our industry into stock. You can't say, I'll just come back again tomorrow and do it differently. It all happens instantaneously. In fact, I think we have one of the most perishable products in the world. We have 24 hours to sell a room, we have 10 minutes to sell a golf tea time, and once it's gone, it really is gone. 
So one thing I could urge all the graduates, remember you're part of the sales process. I sometimes think in Scotland we have the biggest sales prevention department because people don't offer added value and extra items to the customers when the customers are actually willing to receive these extra items and extra experiences. So when you go out, please don't forget that you're part of the sales process very much because until something's sold, nothing else will happen in our industry. And the brand of our industry, I always believe, is certainly our people. You, graduates, are our only unique proposition because, as you know, in many places, there'll be countries with beautiful hotels, beautiful beaches, plenty of sunshine, great restaurants, great golf courses. But the main differentiator between one place and another always comes down to the people. You, as graduates, though, will be very desirable to all the businesses around the world for your current knowledge, your leadership, and your business skills. But please take your time to choose the right business. Don't just jump at the first job that comes along because you have to be demanding. You're in a great position that you can actually almost dictate the development, the career structure, the things that you want that will help you get on. Because if you're not doing that, you can guarantee that other people will be. Choose the business that suits you and gives you the development to move through the industry. For all the global reasons that I mentioned, you also need to embark on a lifelong learning approach, as we just heard. So you're always looking to push the boundaries and actually make luck happen rather than just sitting back on your qualification thinking that today is the end of your formal learning. Certainly take the rest of the day off, but don't forget tomorrow once you come back from the Jazz Festival that learning really is a, a lifelong journey. Managing businesses require current skills, and as I said, the fast-paced nature of our industry, you must always keep up to date with global trends and developments, which I guess means always keeping in touch with your faculty at Glion. But one other piece of advice for your first job is to listen to others to calibrate yourself within the organisation. You need to know how things work around here before you start joining up with them. New businesses will love your confidence, they'll love your new skills, as I said, but they might push back if the confidence turns into arrogance, thinking that you know everything from day one. I've always found if you ask people for advice, 99, out of, 99 times out of 100, people will be very generous with giving you advice and telling you how to do things. Um, but if you think that you know it all from day one, you might find there's a different reaction. This reminds me actually of a story about an old general manager in Scotland um, who had a couple of Glion graduates working for him. Um, the general manager of this large hotel was walking along to the cafeteria one day uh, with his two new Glion graduates. Upon tripping on a bottle, a genie appeared and asked the three of them if they would like each to make a wish. The first Glion graduate pushed forward and excitedly exclaimed, I wish I was on a beach in a tropical island with unlimited food and drink. Immediately, her wish was granted. The second Glion graduate barged past the GM and proclaimed, I wish I was on a shopping tour in New York with an unlimited budget. Immediately, his wish was granted too. Finally, it was the time of the general manager's term to make a wish, and he exclaimed, I wish for the two Glion graduates to be back in their office by lunchtime. <laughs> so the moral of this story, graduates, is that when you start your first job, always let the general manager speak first, at least to start with. I could talk about the industry and what it holds for you for the rest of the day. I think you are entering one of the most fantastic industries worldwide. But then I think given the excellent education that you've had at Glion, you'll know what a dynamic industry it is. So you don't need me to tell you all the benefits and the ins and outs of the industry. So instead, I'd just like to focus for the last few minutes just on yourselves, the front four or five or six rows sitting in front of me. You will feel pressure to get that first job. You'll feel pressure to start making money. You'll feel pressure to start making a difference. Some of you will already have a job, but some of you might not start working in the area that you want to work in for many years to come. Some of you will have instant success. For some of you, it will take years. But when you find what success looks like to you, then it will feel even better. What you do at 21 might not be anywhere near what you achieve at 31 or in 10 years' time when you come back here. And you may have many jobs in between to establish what you like and actually what you don't like. Some of your fellow graduates will go on to be global leaders, some of you won't. But they will find satisfaction in the role that they choose because that's their choice. So be patient about the success because it will come to all of you, but it won't come immediately tomorrow or the next day. 
you'll have to work at it, but you are all different. But you will feel the pressure to be successful as of day one. Everyone in the graduation hall today will support you in the casino and help you achieve your goals, of course, but only you will know what your goals are. I've already said that our industry is all about people, and I suppose like all good orchestras, we need many different skills to create great harmonies, and our industry, as you know, offers those great skills but to many different people. Take the time to consider where and who and when you'd like to work for, because remember, you're in charge of one of the greatest gifts that you can give as an industry, which in essence is creating memories and experiences for people of all ages and stages. And if you get that right, you'll have customers for life. The mission of Gleon, which I'm sure you all know, is to develop professor professionals for global careers in the world's premier hospitality and luxury businesses. I think looking at all of you in front of me today, the industry and the, prep, sorry, the preparation has been done to very high standard, and the industry is in safe hands going forward. I wish you the best of luck for the future, and it would do you well to remember what Walt Disney said as he was building the theme parks around the world that we all know so well. You can dream, create, design, and build the most wonderful place in the world, but it requires people to make that dream a reality. So good luck to you all. Thank you for listening to me. I'm conscious I'm standing between now and the graduation. Thank you all. Thank you, David Cochran, for an inspirational speech, which I am sure the graduates will reflect upon during their future careers. Ms. Georgette Davy, Managing Director of GIHE, would like to present you with a gift which we hope will remind you of your time with us today. Thank you very much. Thank you. We will now continue with the presentation of the student degrees on the Glion Institute of Higher Education Bachelor Programs. We present our Bachelor Degrees in Hospitality Management. This program is designed for students who wish to prepare for an exciting career. The BBA students are complete, have completed their studies over a seven semester program composed of five taught semesters and two internships. This combination of industry insight and business development ensures individuals have the potential to enter and fast track their careers in hospitality, private finance, and or the world of luxury brands and events. The names will be read by the Bachelor Programs Manager, Anna Piva, uh, and the heads of specializations, uh, Dr. Susan Godfrey, Jonathan Humphreys, and Giovanni Manfredini. Graduates, as your name is called, Please come forward to receive your award from Ms. Georgette Davy, Managing Director, and from Ms. Barbara Miller, Academic Dean. For the BBA in Hospitality Management, Ayanu Ichikawa with honors. Nicola Sclavo with honors. <laughs> Andrea Ubovic with honors. <laughs> Louis Bourg. François Adrien Cater. <laughs> Manon Dijol. <laughs> Mira Juma.
Youngbin Kim. Gaston Long. Anastasia Misnikova. <laughs> Luis Felipe Rocha Rezende de Almeida. <laughs> Elias Ivan Studer. Melvin Chia. For the BBA in Hospitality Administration, Keaton Aloni. Meijun Guo. <laughs> Walid Kilani. <laughs> Mrijendra Singh. Dong Zhang <laughs> for the BBA in Hospitality Management London Campus, Maria Beatrice Gavotti with honors. <laughs> Veronique Lopi with honors. <laughs> Elizabeth Reed with honors. <laughs> Charlotte Cossin. Iris Ferreira. <laughs> Amanda Lau Junhi. Francesco Orestano. <laughs> Yakovos Paraskevopoulos. <laughs> Olivia Shelburne. Luxury brand management and hospitality specialization. Our unique luxury brand management and hospitality specialization teaches our students the marketing and business skills needed to manage luxury brands and to ensure they have the versatility, knowledge, and skills needed to be an ideal candidate in the ever-growing world of luxury and hospitality.
Luxury hospitality is a key component of the overall luxury sector, focused on delivering exceptional personal service and memorable experiences. It covers a wide variety of areas, including boutique hotels, palaces, cruises, spas, as well as fine wine and dining. Understanding luxury and the management of luxury brands provides a foundation for career, not just in luxury and in hospitality industry, but far beyond. BBN Hospitality Management with Luxury Brand Management in Hospitality, Rodrigo Anaya Via Irada. <laughs> with honours. Magda Bensabo, with honours. <laughs> Fabrizio Beton. Jean Bill with honors. Ombre Cazo with honors. Laura Chaffo with honors. Cyril Favre yeah. with honors. <laughs> Martina Florio yeah. with honors. <laughs> and Fisa Gorobetz with honors. Senia Gukasova with honours. <laughs> Tom Huss with honours. <laughs> Kevin Kratija with honours. <laughs> Ileana Lepap with honor. <laughs> Alice Levy with honor. <laughs> Taya Mirani with honors. <laughs> with honours. <laughs> Marie Altieri. <laughs> Marie Louise Bank. Blundell. <laughs> Brian Budiono.
Nadia Glus. Thomas Janssens van der Meilen. Diane Kang. Melina Levan. Narancha Pearson Bakko. <laughs> Valerie Plate. <laughs> Nachanon Pong Tai Von Pinyo. <laughs> Thompson. administration with luxury brand management in hospitality. Mary Sophie Corva. <laughs> Fatma Hussein Zayla. Gwendoline Kurnia. <laughs> Vasily Savochkin. <laughs> Sin Sun. Timur Vaffin. <laughs> BA in hospitality services with luxury brand management in hospitality, Antonio, sorry, Antonio <laughs> Rivero Sachet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the International Hotel Development and Finance Specialization. This specialization helps the students hone skills that prepare for employment in an ever-evolving hospitality industry, where there is a demand for a new breed of leader. As the world continues to evolve and intensify, more and more organizations are seeking the appropriate graduates. Our specialization gives the students the skills to analyze critical success factors in asset management for both hotel and resort development projects. This will ensure that they have the experience that organizations constantly crave for their future. It is my pleasure to introduce the graduates for the BBA in Hospitality Management with International Hotel Development and Finance.
Sazivimon Chatra Pronvitian with honors. Mazan Zabahi with honors. Hakim El Faktali with honors. Urangu Eng Tufshin with honors. Astrid Bernadette Dominique Jimel with honors. Adil Jabrailov with honors. Gracia Jane with honors. Varita Lawachai Yotin with honors. Pierre Louis Marc Licori with honors. Champagne Mariama with honors. Jamal Mustafa Menkara with honors. Hong Han Niguen with honors. Valentina Obuchovskaya with honors. <laughs> Loic Nicolas Panilla with honors. <laughs> Hin Tran with honors. Yosef Alajali. <laughs> Damian Gabriel Encho. <laughs> Min Khoi Le. Inge Shi. <laughs> the BBA in Hospitality Administration with International Hotel Development and Finance, Siu Chen. Matteo Fazana. <laughs> the BBA in Hospitality Management with Real Estate Finance and Revenue Management, Jeremy Benjamin Kabla.
Ladies and gentlemen, international event management specialization. Events come in many shapes and sizes, from massive sports events to regional music and film festivals, political summits, private weddings, exclusive VIP events, corporate workshops, and much more. One thing is for sure, events are happening every day all over the globe, and no two events are ever the same. There is plenty of room to grow a career and the flexibility to choose when and where you work in event management. BBA in hospitality management with international event management. Simbat Kakim with honors. <laughs> Anastasia Papish with honors. Sayana Sambueva with honors. <laughs> Barbara Vanichkova with honors. <laughs> Sabine Arnu. Mary Chu. <laughs> BBA in Hospitality Administration with International Event Management. Soraya Bellavoin. Santiago Carvalho Reuteler. <laughs> Eleanor Fourjo. <laughs> Akra Pagnarachun. Linju Q. <laughs> Anderson Teo. <laughs> Ju, Ju Rui. BBA in event, sport and entertainment with marketing and communication management. Greta Scarapicchia with honors. <laughs> we continue today's ceremony with the presentation of student prizes. The first of these are for students of the bachelor programs of our London and Bill campuses for outstanding academic performance and research. I'm truly honored to announce the prize for outstanding academic performance on the bachelor program. A two night stay for two at the luxury five star Kyrgyzstan Palace Kempinski in Istanbul sponsored by Kempinski. The prize is awarded to the student who has achieved the highest semester average of all the GIHE bachelor students this semester. With an overall semester average of 88.40%, the student who receives the Outstanding Academic Performance Prize is... Astrid Gimel.
I now have the pleasure of announcing the second prize awarded on the Bachelor Programme. And this prize is awarded for the top piece of student research across all specialisations and to a student whose research has demonstrated originality and innovative thinking. This award was, uh, was given when I was a student back in the day. And I have to tell you, I can remember exactly how much it was. It was £25, which equates to about 32 francs. This prize is unbelievable because it is twofold. First of all, it is a seven night stay for two people, full board at the four star Park Hotel Folgarida in Trentino Alto Adige. Did I pronounce that right? In Italy. And it's sponsored by Siana SRL. And in addition to that, there's a magnum bottle of Verve Clicquot Champagne sponsored by Moet Hennessy Suisse. And I'd like to call upon Mr. Aldo Scarapicchia, General Manager of Siana SRL, and Mr. Pascal Cordier, Commercial Director for Moet Hennessy, onto stage toward the prize. Uh, just to say this award is voted for by the lead tutors of each of the capstones on both the London and Swiss campuses. And I have to, also have to say, I met the, the winner of this person yesterday in, in Montreux, and I said to them, not sort of giving too much away about the prize, I said, oh, you're going to have a special day today, aren't you? Uh, tomorrow, aren't you? Little did she know that she's going to have a really special day because the winner is Astrid Gimmel. Now it gives me great pleasure to present our Master of Business Administration students from the Bill and London campuses and our online MBA students. We will now present their degrees. They will be read out by the online master's programs leader, Dr. Martin Senior and the Master's Program Manager, Karin Dind. Graduates, as your name is called, please come forward to receive your award from Mrs. Georgette Davy, Managing Director, and from Barbara Miller, Academic Dean. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. This award is for the online MBA in International Hospitality and Services Industries Management. Uh, just a quick note, these students have spent three to five years studying for this degree while balancing family commitments, traveling, traveling around the world, and obviously working very hard. So congratulations, well done. For the first uh, recipient is Bruno Boll. Hector Garcia. Margot Graff. Jaira Guevara. Shuris Monico Oraja. Oh, not bad. Okay. I think Ras. Thanks. Um, Elbina Lipeva. Thanks. <laughs> Kathy Oyen.
Rana Saab. Steve Indra. Saga Shah. Saha Shahzad. Ben Zuen. I would now like to invite to the podium Ms. Saha Shazad and Mr. Stefanos Indra, who will deliver the valedictorian speech of the online MBA program. Dear lecturers, classmates, and parents who have traveled from around the world to attend the graduation ceremony, on behalf of the Gleon Online program, we warmly wel welcome you all to this auspicious occasion. This afternoon, Steve and I would be sharing our experiences through stories throughout our Gleon MBA journey. Think back about the very day when you all simply thought of applying to Gleon that very moment when you felt the adrenaline rush from excitement, making you feel almost uncertain about what may happen next. You finally receive your acceptance and successfully enroll as a student at Gleon Institute of Higher Education and see all your dreams coming true already. Like Steve and I, I'm sure most of you did not anticipate that the APA formatting would make us sweat more than the actual assignments themselves. After meeting many deadlines and submitting innumerable word counts, here you all are, making your parents, your professors, your country, and the world proud of everything you've achieved. This is the day that you all dreamed of, and it is this very moment where we all can say that we made it. The Glean Online Program has been a true representation of the international community and diversity that exists on campus. Being a hybrid student myself, I can confidently say that my experience has been no less than phenomenal, be it in Bull or online. Though I must admit, I dearly missed being on campus and getting to see the Swiss Alps to calm me whenever I felt nervous about my studies. The way the Gleon alumni is spread all across the world is incredible. No matter what traditions, cultures, religions, or races we belong from, the Gleon spirit truly binds us as one. It is hard for me to say this without getting emotional that the entire Gleon community feels like one global family to me. Looking back at when we all started this journey, the Gleon online portal was indeed a truly UFO to all of us, including its brother virtual bookshelf. Soon, our school IT departments and then the Gleon student support soon becoming our good friend especially when the system maintenance and then the book download code <laughs> failed. However, this was not an easy journey. The weekend and evenings were for Gleongs. And also, our times were exclusively reserved, especially during the assignment week. It got very intense, especially a few hours when we need to submit the deadline. Again, the submission deadline is at the midnight Swiss time. Midnight Swiss time, everyone, not, stu not a student local time, submission times. <laughs> also, it would be a big blunder if we forget to mention our love and hate relationship with the one of the biggest innovation in the academic world. It is the academic winning software called Esternitin. <laughs> Esternitin truly completed and cheered up our study, especially when the Turnitin similarity score was very high. <laughs> <laughs> Nevertheless, our journey with Turnitin had shaped us into a creative and vigilant professionals and becoming a better students. There was a time when 
we feel that we give up our journey, especially the work pressure and then the family commitment becoming unbearable. But courtesy to the technology, like WhatsApp and Skype conversations, those technology has helped us profoundly to complete the 10 modules, including the ABP. Our classmates from different modules becoming our friends, friends for life, including our ABP mentor and then the lecturers. A short motivational email from the ABP lecturer was a second win for us to finish this marathon. As a matter of fact, the statistics, the statistics show that since the Gleong Online was launched in October 2010, today there are 190 students has successfully received the Gleong Online MBA through the programs. The names of the students, as re revealed by the register office, for sure their name is not Clark for Clark Ken, Peter for Peter Parker, and also Stark for Tony Stark. And they definitely not belong to any kind of superhero groups. They are just a simply in determined individual who work hard, like you and I, who continue to take a small step ahead to finish this journey. If I may say so, I'm sure you all borrowed and applied the famous quote from the Liverpool Football Club, which is, you never walk alone. And also the other quote, Two is better than one. But why two is better than one? Because then we have a good return for our labor. For if one falls down, their companion lift them up. But pity the ones who fall down without another to help him out. Therefore, use, what, uh, use WhatsApp and Skype. And the most important, it is free. Absolutely. <laughs> In my case, I remember attending to the never-ending needs of my one-year-old daughter and letting a tear run down my face as I was constantly thinking about how on earth will I ever get the chance to sit on my laptop and complete my assignments. But here's what I've gathered, and that is that my success did not materialize on my own, but was a rather a result of the large support system that I had. My loving mom and dad, my wonderful husband, my amazing supportive friends, and most importantly, all my teachers and mentors at Gleon are the backbone of my success, who lifted my spirits whenever I felt weak. I also realized that one must learn to manage themselves, not just emotionally, but in terms of utilizing our times as well. We are oftentimes our own worst critiques, which many a times results us in being unfair and harsh to ourselves. That's why I would say that it's important and vital to take a few steps back when things become too overwhelming. Learning to really live in the present requires tremendous effort in the beginning, but then it becomes much easier to just enjoy the smaller things in life. So look forward to your morning cup of coffee or tea, whatever you prefer. Look forward to your commute to work just to enjoy your playlist. Look forward to seeing your peers, but then be fully ready to face the challenges head on that may strike, because you've come this far already. The second and last story that we would like to share with you is the day of new beginnings. Perhaps some of you are now wondering what will be the big thing available in the live stores after the graduations. A question like, when will the big door of promotion comes? When will be the big door be opened? Those questions might continuously haunt our mind. It is for sure, all of us, we want to reap and taste the good fruit of our hard work and then the investment from our study. Therefore, please remember this. If a dough that we have not clearly seen the fruit right now, but all of us, we have already the seed, the seed that we have collected along our Gliam academic journey, the seed that has the capability to produce the good fruit that we want to see in our life. And always remember the old quote saying, despite not the day of small thing, Therefore, start where you are. Use what you have got and do what you can. Dear graduating class of 2018, do not settle for anything less. Believe from every bone in your body that whatever you aspire to achieve is very much in your reach. 
Walt Disney very rightly said that if you can dream it, you can do it. Because being present here is a testament to your abilities as when you first thought of applying to this prestigious and globally renowned institute. So this very moment, this very day is telling us that we, we made, made it. it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, for the MBA in International Hospitality and Service Industries Management, Kimberly Cavallo. Maria Lipko. Mako Panjavidze. Marco Soso. For the MBA in International Hospitality and Service Industries Management, London Campus, Sandu Florea. Adele, Adeyele Idowu. <laughs> Hai Lam Tran. We now present our Master of Science in International Hotel Management students. This program is designed for recent graduates and career changers who wish to become well-rounded professionals for careers in the hospitality industry. The MSc students have completed their studies over a three-semester program composed of two taught semesters and one internship. This combination of industry insight and business development ensures that the individuals have the potential to enter and fast track their career in the hospitality industry. We will now present the student degrees. These will be read out by faculty member Bertrand Eret. <laughs> the Master Program Manager, Karin Dind, and, and the Master's Program Coordinator, Eric Mabillon. <laughs> Graduates, as your name is called, please come forward to receive your award from Mrs. Jotet Davy, Managing Director, and Mrs. Barbara Miller, Academic Dean. Master in International Hotel Management, Naif Alouda. <laughs> Sonmat Banerjee. <laughs> Georgina Barbu. Eleonora Benzi. <applaudissements> Renin Blandon Yola. <applaudissements> Christian Andres Caicedo Soria. Kin Yetun Chan. (Applaudissements) 
Uja Datatrei Shan Shaban. Xia Wen Shen. Julia Cuomo. Eli Dabouz. Dieu Hong Dao. Kajol Datwani. Desmond. Sofia Erokina. Jules Fernez. <applaudissements> Julien Frachis. <applaudissements> Di Gao. Francesco Javier Garcia Torres. Christine Gatti. Bobby Giantara. Byron Go. Zena Gigoreva. Louis Lionel Gerbo. Ashish Gupta. <applaudissements> Diane est loin de Sénival. <applaudissements> Jui Xuan Su. Jean Jamal. Caroline Julmi. Ariane Cochal. Monirat Kim. <applaudissements> Diana Kiyudiku. <applaudissements> T. 
Teodora Kokolinaki. Maria Konstantinova. Vivian Larissa. Tan En Lee. Fam Bao Li Le. Jai Li. You fait Liu. Gabriela Manrique Morales. Sandra Meyer. Gabriela Merman. Monica. Anastasia Nadal. Madoka Nakamura. <laughs> Alexander Nepomiaich. Rohan Patil. Solène Quimbert. Enfadel Reich. Alexia Regamé. Bon anniversaire, Alexia. Gabriela Pires. Octave Choura. Wei oui, Shan. Zia Shen. Justine Siwan. Batarawadi Sonam. Madeline Tan.
Tilenatran. Raza Rana Usavankul. Maninkan Vitaram Ponsawat. Ko Tin Vo. Tu Duang Vu. Wait, wait. <laughs> you mean vu. <laughs> he yao. <laughs> Weki Zhang. Yang Zhao. For the MSc in International Hotel Management, London Campus, Dario Alvarez Antunes. Clara Badawi. Berina Bayrovich. Daria Bolshunova. <laughs> Michel Min Corlou. <laughs> Yann Denolf. Aliénor de Ribier. Priscille Doré. Julia Drellet. Lana Elzir. Camille Georges. Mathilde Gerd. Christina Kokala. Kiriaki Kukuli. Oh. 
Aurore Langlade de Moyen. Carolina Moraes Sarmento. La Rapon Saint Grégoire. Enric Horta. Sabine Salam. Andrea Samento. Christina Chazadeyan. Roshni Dipak Kumar Shukla. Postgraduate Diploma in Hospitality Administration, Alexandra Gacon. Yeting Zhang. Our next student prizes are for master students on our online program or campus-based programs on the London and Switzerland campuses. I am very pleased to announce the prize for outstanding academic performance on the master's program. It is a two-night stay in a prestige sea view room for two persons at the Hotel Barrière Le Majestic in Cannes, sponsored by the Barrière Majestic. This prize is awarded to the master student who has achieved the highest semester average of all GIHE master students of Bill and London campuses this semester with an outstanding overall semester average of 18.80%, the student who receives the Outstanding Academic Performance Prize is Julien Frachis. <laughs> I am very pleased to announce the prize for outstanding academic performance on the Masters online programme, which is a two-night stay for two persons in Greece at one of the Eldermore Resorts hotels located in Greece, uh, Crete, Rhodes and Olympia, sponsored by Eldermore Resorts. The prize is awarded to the student who has the achieved the highest grade average for all of the GIHE online master students for this cohort with an overall semester average of 88.13%. The student who receives the Outstanding Academic Performance, Provi Performance Provi 
Oh dear. Prize is. Who is? Who is it? Saha Shazad Arsalan. It is my uh, pleasure now to invite to the podium the Student Government Association President, Ms. Ellen Persson, who will deliver the speech on behalf of the student body. Dear faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates, I'm honored to speak on this very important day. First of all, I want to say congratulations to my Glion family. Fellow graduates, we made it! <laughs> you stand here today looking at the future. It's not a distance reality anymore. It begins here. It begins today. You began university as teenagers and you left as adults. You've completed a basic education that will serve as a platform for your futures. My fellow students, you arrived here three and a half years ago, and now it's already time to leave. How did it all go so fast? It seems like only yesterday you were in first semester, First semester, fighting with your CBL uniforms, finding your hairnets, fitting the right shoes, trying to figure out where the next class was, and looking generally clueless to the semester above us. Now, we're the graduating semester, and the ones who stand here today ready to graduate and move forward in the world. Yet, at this important day, it's, you can't help but look back. How do you measure the time that you've spent in Glion? It began, you measured, in the beginning, you measured it in class periods, counting down the days to eventual freedom, trying, as the days passed and weeks passed, you me measured it in semesters and later on in years <clears throat> from, being, from being those clueless freshmen. By the time we reached semester six, we were confident that we were prepared to take over from the graduating students. You couldn't wait to rule the university. And now, here we stand. Our rule is over, and it's up for the next class to step into our shoes and take over. And however, every finish line is the beginning of a new race, as they say. What has made our experience such a unique one is the life-lasting passport of memories and experiences. What assembles this passport together is the diversity of nationalities. I remember sitting 13 nationality at a table at lunch in Lyon. I will never forget the word rins from our beloved housekeeping lady. <laughs> the trips we've been on together in Switzerland and around the world. We managed to get a stamp of absences on every single page in this passport. <clears throat> We, already, we really added our own touch to our experience with the paninis and the Nutella pizza in the club in Lyon. The passport is now full. It has reached its maximum potential, and not a single free page has been left behind. Even though, even though we cannot use the passport anymore, it, was always, it will always be safe in a safe place carried with us all around the world. No matter where you go or what you do, there are challenges ahead of us. What I'm asking from each one of you and from myself is to meet these challenges with your head held high and your hearts wide open. 
It's not enough to simply get by in life. You must excel in everything you do, strive for excellence in every task, large or small. But if you really think about it, today is not just about the graduating intake. It's as well about our parents, our friends, our relatives, but most importantly, about our university and its teachers. We all think that we come to university to receive a specialization and study professional subjects, which undoubtedly we do, but often forget about the school of life and the adulthood that this place has given us. The university makes us better people, wider, smart, wiser, smarter, kinder, more generous, and open to the world. I hope that our university ID is a proof of those people that we've become. Finally, thank you to each one of you for these unforgettable three and a half years. We've laughed, wiped each other's tears, partied, traveled the world, but now, class of June 2018, congratulations. Thank you very much, Aline, for this uh, inspiring speech. Also, we wish to express our thankfulness uh, to you for all the hard work you have done as a SDA president. You've been a role model to all students, and you have fulfilled the role of the SDA president to our entire satisfaction. Uh, on behalf of GIHE and its management, we wish to give you a gift. It's a voucher for a two-night stay in a deluxe room for two persons at the newly reopened and renovated Lutetia Hotel Paris, sponsored by the Lutetia Paris. Our next set of student prizes are for students in all our GIHE programs on bachelor or master level for outstanding leadership and professional excellence. Faculty and staff nomina nominated the two students who have shown the strongest attachment to the Lyon family and brand, combined to a high level of attitude, peer-to-peer -peer support, and enthusiasm. Those students contributed to the life of the campus in many ways. They have been inspiring leaders to colleagues and have given a lot of their time to make Lyon a better place for the present and for the future. I'm very happy to announce the prize for leadership, which is an overnight stay for two people in a deluxe room lake view at the Swiss Majestic Hotel, sponsored by the Grand Hotel Swiss Majestic, and a magnum bottle of Veuve Clicquot Champagne, sponsored by Murray Hennessy Swiss. And I would like to call Mr. Guillaume Arnaud, Sales and Marketing Manager at the Grand Hotel Swiss Majestic, and Mr. Pascal Cordier, Commercial Director from Moe Hennessy Swiss, on stage to award the prize. The prize is given to the student who best exhibits the qualities of leadership throughout the entire length of studies. Throughout the entire length of studies, this student has shown constant interest and involvement in different leadership roles. During the years at Glion, this student has been part of the Ambassador Program, member of the EMC Cup, integral to the Power Leader Program, being a campus life leader. This student joined the Student Government Association and was part of Glion's STR Global Competition Team. In the last few months, this student led and delivered a complex ABP team assignment. Fellow students would say, this student is open-minded, smart, generous, and caring. Faculty would say, this student has been professional, polite, and helpful student since his first day in Glion, and has strongly contributed to the improvement of life on the Glion campus. The winning student who receives the leadership prize is Loic Nicolas Penilla.
I am proud to announce the prize for the prof professional excellence, which is a desk clock sponsored by Hublot, and a magnum bottle of Wurzlico champagne sponsored by Mouet NEC Suisse. And I would like to call Mr. Wen King Zhang, head of travel retail at LVMH Group Watch Division, and Mr. Pascal Cordier, commercial director from Mouet NEC Suisse, on stage to award the prize. The Glion community votes for students who best exhibit the qualities of professionalism with the highest level of attitude in all that they do. This student has been an example throughout the year, always providing feedback in an extremely professional manner, being solutions-focused and constructive, approachable, good team player, and very supportive to other students. The winning student who receives the Professional Excellence Prize is Lana Elzir. As we now come to the end of our graduation ceremony, it's time to express our sincere thanks to many persons who have made this academic semester successful and ensured academic excellence. To start with, we would like to thank all of the faculty who have made this possible and a round of applause to all of those faculty that are with us today. Also, a very big thank you to the staff and the Gillian community who have contributed to this successful event, but also to the students' well-being and welfare during their studies. Again, a really big a round of applause to all of those teams. We would also like to extend our thanks to all of the academic administration team who've been dedicated during the whole semester to really make today possible. And on that note, we would like to share a few images that our today's graduates, I'm sure, will be people they recognize who have been there every step of the way during their studies at Guillaume. Finally, I'm sure on behalf of all of our graduates, Again, a warm thank you to all of those parents, supporters, and sponsors. So again, a really big round of applause for all of our sponsors and parents who are here today.
Ladies and gentlemen, following the end of our graduation, we are obviously cordially inviting you to that champagne cocktail. We will be processing out of the auditorium this afternoon, so if I can ask all of our parents and sponsors to use that as a great photo opportunity for your sons and daughters and relations. May we also ask all guests to ensure that they collect everything so from the coats and from our vestiae by 5.30 this afternoon. I know there's a lot of people in the front row that have been waiting for one particular event this afternoon. So, graduates of 2018, please can I ask you all to stand up. And on that count of three, the moment that every student waits for when they embark on their degree program. So on the count of three, are you ready? Yes. Are you sure you're ready? Yes. So one, two, three. Yes. Woo!